Hannah, nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you guys. How nice to you? see you. I'm so good, how are you? Thanks for having us. Oh no, I'm very excited. I'm really excited about stealing that leather jacket, my man. Um, <laughs> did, did you watch The Sopranos? Were you into The Sopranos? Oh, I would watch The Sopranos with my dad. Oh, I so love I, that. Like, I, 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 I like, couldn't quote you like everything from every episode, but like that was like a bonding thing, you know, just like That's cool. murder, but also family dynamics. <laughs> That's really what the show's about. Exactly. It's a personal relationship. Yeah. That's what the show's about. I love you so much. <laughs> Murder. Family You're so funny. Okay, so you guys did the show together for five seasons, right? So what were your first impressions of each other? Did you like each other at first, or were you like, mm? We don't like each other now. now? <laughs> oh. I mean it first. Uh, well, you know, Michael was there first, and I came on in the second season, so he was one of the leads of the show. Uh, so it was one of my first days. I was very excited to meet him, you know? Yeah. And they introduced us, and he went, yeah, how you doing? He gave me the fish hand. You know the fish hand? Yeah. This is what he gave me. Yeah. I'll never, he gave me the fish hand. I'll never see you again. <laughs> that's exactly right. The pay no mind list, and that's exactly what he did. And to this day, it's kind of the same way. <laughs> Kelly, I was told to keep a distance. <laughs> he had a terrible reputation coming out of Las Vegas as being very difficult. And Is this true? it took a while to get used to his ways, his demands and everything. And then we, we wind up one night, he came over, he said, uh, let's go out for a drink. And that was one of thousands of drinks. But just to show you what things are like even today, this yeah. is what happened today. Wait, Trying wait, to get in the front gate. Michael Sharippa. My oh, yeah. <laughs> Michael Sharippa. They can't even get my they name right. They can't spell your name right. <laughs> because he's always pulling these moves on me. So. There you go. Well, that's anything, awesome. That's just the way, that's the, way the cards fall. Kevin. Those are my favorite friendships. The ones where you can call each other out constantly. I love that. Um, well, in your first scene in the first episode, you're driving, you're driving, right? So is it true that you didn't know how to drive? No. I, you know, I spent my adult hood in New York City, so a lot of us don't drive. Yeah. But I got cast basically to be Tony Soprano's driver. <laughs> so I didn't tell them that because I wanted the, you know, you do whatever you can yeah, to get a job, job, right? I was oh like, yeah, God. I could drive. I'm thinking, how hard could it be? Actors it's a TV are show. liars, okay. Actors are liars. Yes, okay. Exactly. So I figured they're going to block off the streets. It's going to be fine. But I had to back, drive backwards down the sidewalk with trees on both sides doing dialogue to Tony Soprano, James Gandolfini. And I did it like five times. And then the director said, do it one more time, twice as far, twice as fast. Boom, right into a tree. Backed right in, it destroyed the rear end of the car. Airbags go off. James Gandolfini's oh head snapped. There's smoke, people are running, and I'm just like, I'm getting fired. There's no way they're keeping me. He's the star of the show. He's, and then I what look over. What is he saying? He just starts losing it, laughing, hysterically. Oh, oh I was like, what kind of losing it? <laughs> <laughs> hysterically laughing. And then oh I was God. like, all right, it's going to be OK. OK, you can still have your driver's license for a while and still do something like that. I mean, not that I've done that in like a Target parking lot or anything, but um, <laughs> it was years ago, whatever. Um, tell, tell us about the new book. So why did you want to do this? What, why, what, what's the reason for wanting to do this? Well, we were doing a podcast. I know that, yeah. You know, it started in pandemic, and it was we were bringing on all the actors, all the writers, directors, crew people. And, you know, we were like, we have to, you know, it's like 300 hours this, this podcast is going to be, but we wanted to find something that would be more condensed. We went back and interviewed people to get more stories because there was a lot we didn't put on the podcast. Mm. And this is an oral history. It's from the mouths of the people who made it. So this is firsthand behind the scenes information. It's and, so cool. Including the creator, David Chase, and... 98% of the cast, it's, uh, if you're a Soprano fan, you're going to want this book. Well, you have to be living under a rock, not really to be a fan. So that's, that's why I think it's so cool. that you. It's, it's an amazing thing to be a part of something so magical, like su such a big, huge thing of pop culture. Like, did that set in right away for you all, or did it take like a few seasons? No, no, it did not set. I mean, we weren't sure if it was even going to work as a show, because there had not, not been any real series on cable that, that were hits yeah. at the time. And when it came out, though, it got these crazy reviews all over the place. And then um, it started to get a following, and there were billboards and that kind of thing. And, and it just kept going from there. And now it's, 
it seems like it's more popular than it ever was. Yeah. And that's amazing to be a part of something that huge. I, like, think you know, I think 50 years from now, they'll still be watching this thing. I know. Well, that's a classic, sign of a, sign of a classic. Well, the show famously ended um, in the middle of a scene and a song. Uh, no one knows if Tony Soprano lived or died. So what do you think? I think Tony Soprano is alive and well okay. and eating onion rings in New Jersey. <laughs> I think that sounds awesome. That's what I think. Okay. I have a feeling you have a different opinion. Of course. <laughs> he always got a different opinion. I saw him. He did the thinking man yeah, pose. No, <laughs> I, don't, I, I think the cut to black was his point of view, and that's oh, yeah. the end for, for the character. That was the last thing he saw, and then it was Very snuffed out. And Michael is wrong, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> listen, to, listen to Uncle Steve, Michael's wrong. <laughs>